Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to create the team that we'll be working with and giving administrative power. Now Trello assumes that when you create your team, that you are paying for the team member that'll be working with you. So what you'll need to do then is to add that team member, your business class team. And start that process, you'll click the plus button and then you'll click create business team. You're then going to give your team a name and then you're going to click create. And when you click into your profile, you're going to see your personal profile page. You're going to click the billing link and you're going to be shown personal billing option, even though you will not be using Trello Gold. What you'll want to do is you'll want to find the link that'll be your team billing page. You'll find that right above your personal billing page. Trello should be telling you that your business class is active and what you'll want to do is you'll want to click the members area. Now if the required number of team members are not added, you'll want to add them here by clicking either name by email or by bulk add members. In this case, the team member that will be working with the elements in this course has already been added and is now part of the business team. In fact, when that person logs in, they'll see a message from Trello Business Class. They'll also be able to go into their profile. You'll notice then that they are coupled with the other team members and that they now have additional settings, which we'll be discussing in this course. Finally, at the very top, as a member of this team, you'll notice that Trello has indicated that this person is part of the business class user. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.